Hello and welcome to Ganesh's real channel. So, for today, we are going to discuss that how we can trace a curve using differential calculus. But before that, we should know some terms. Like, let's start with asymptotes. What are asymptotes? So, this is basically a line, a straight line, which curves a curve, any curve at two points, okay? And its distance from the origin, its distance from the origin is infinite. However, it is not fully infinite, but the distance is infinite and we have to check it out whether the asymptote is parallel to x-axis or parallel to y-axis by seeing the equation of curve, okay? So, whenever any asymptote is parallel to x-axis, what you need to do, you have to take all the highest powers coefficient of x and then put them as 0 to see to see that whether any asymptote is parallel to y-axis, again do the same. You have to take the highest coefficients of highest power coefficients of y and put them as zero. Let's take an example. Here you are given with a curve. You need to find out the asymptote. Now let's find out whether it is so for both of them, whether it is parallel to x-axis or parallel to y-axis. So, for parallel to x-axis, what you need to do? All the coefficient of highest power of x as 0. Now, highest power of x is x square. So, 2, right? So, take x square as common. What will you get? y square minus y. Okay. Now, put that as 0. So, only the coefficient. Take y as common. y minus 1. You can put it as 0 and y as 1. So, these are your two asymptote points, okay? Thereafter, in order to check at which point asymptote will be parallel to y-axis, for that, take highest coefficient, highest power of y and its coefficient. So, highest power of y is y square, again 2. So, these two terms are having highest power of y. So, take highest power common. So, your coefficient of highest power is x square minus x. Put it as 0. Now, again, you have got your points. Okay, there is in dot intersect. Now, at the axis. So, in this way, you can find out is in dot. In our next video, we'll discuss that how we can trace the curve and find the is in dots. You have uh, already learned that how you can find the asymptotes, but it will be useful in tracing the curve as well, alright? I hope you understand this video. I know this is very easy for you, but still I just want to recapitulate and in our next video we will go through everything, okay? Further, if you like the video, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. Till my next video, take care of yourself. Bye-bye.